Hi there, this is uh, another tutorial video. Uh, this one is going to be on installing ZSH. Uh, so you can have instead of the standard cell, you can use the ZSH cell. I'm just going to minimize this window here. So, first thing you need to do is make sure you've installed ZSH. So you can use apt-get or aptitude. already done that. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is if we go over to here, so you want to go to, you do a Google search for um, ZSH and you'll find it quite quickly or you can type in the link in the top here um, to GitHub page run by Robbie Russell. This um, this way. Um, if you use the curl way or the wget way, after you've done either way, which you'll see in a minute, you still have to change the deep or else uh, next time you open up a new shell, it won't have the zip shell, it will just have something that you need to still do for when you get down to here. So if we just say we do it the curl way, copy this, go back to where we were. I've already installed it for this user, so I'm just going to remove it from uh, from here as if it wasn't here already. It'll just take a few moments. slow at the moment, so apologies for the wait. And there we go. So now we need to uh, change the default shell. So So normally, if this was your uh, the user that you're logging into your X session with, if you did Windows key enter, then you should see that the ZSH shell will start up. Now, because this this demo user isn't the default shell and it won't do that, um, if I exit out, so log back in as uh, as the, the different user, and then we log in. Uh, just in case uh, you didn't know what I just did there, if I did it sudo space exclamation mark exclamation mark. What that will do is that the last command that you writ, it will run that command again, but with um, sudo privileges. So it's very useful uh, to do. Which is most of the things you do need uh, elevated privileges most of the time when you're doing things. Okay, now it's asking me if I want to update uh, to the latest version. That script doesn't run every time. It runs once, uh, once and now, as you can see, this icon here, it's H shell, uh, which I can then do whatever I want with. You can change it and manipulate it uh, in any way, but that's uh, that's for a different video. So very basic. All you have to do is make sure that ZSH is installed in the first place. Once you've got that and it's installed, obviously you need to have root privileges to install that in the first place. Once you've installed that, go on to the Robbie Russell site, download via curl or wget. Um, once you've got that repository in there, change the default shell to ZSH and you're done. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. And that is about it. So I hope that for everybody. That is uh, that is that. Cheers.